All right, well, I've made it to beautiful Montesano State Park. You can hear the cicadas buzzing, doing their thing. You can see this gorgeous view that I've got behind me. Just wish those power lines weren't there, but that's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm getting settled and I wanted to hurry up and get the BBS set up so that if anybody comes up on the mountain and they're looking for it, they'll find what they're looking for. So I'm going to do a quick run through of the implementation so you can see how I've got it deployed. All right, let's go. Okay, first of all, here is the radio. So this is the Atlavox S4. I've got it uh, here. Let me straighten up this antenna just a tad. I want to make sure it's as vertical as possible. I've got it stuck up there in the rain gutter. Imagine that. And uh, here, let me give you a peek at what I've done. I ended up using that mount uh, without some other type of support. It's difficult to mount this thing. So keep that in mind, folks. You either need to maybe print something that's a replacement for that screw in piece or do something completely different. But anyhow, I've got it wedged in there and then I found a piece of asphalt that I used just to weight it down. So I don't believe that's going anywhere. So I'm gonna just try to see how that rides and we're gonna leave it there for the weekend. Here you can see I've got my USB cable coming out runs down along the side of the cabin under the weep pole here. Let's go in and take a look. Welcome to the uh, to the weekend retreat. You can see I've got it running just underneath the doorway here. Nothing special at all. It runs up to a Raspberry Pi that's sitting right there on the counter. And then I've got another long USB cord to power the Raspberry Pi, uh, there are so few electrical outlets that uh, you've got to get creative here. So that's, uh, that's the hardware. Now we'll take a quick look here at the software. I was doing just a, a couple quick modifications uh, before I brought it up live. So let me just give you a quick demo here of how this stuff works. So here I'm just looking at the list of folks that I can currently see. Graybeards here, so that's likely Tim. Tim's made it in. And I'm going to do a long press on the BBS here. And then I'm going to tell it I want to do a direct message. I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to say hello. Now you, the truth of the matter is you can send just about anything to initiate the conversation, but hey, why not be polite? So we'll say hello. I can see the message was sent and it looks like I got a response. Let's take a quick look here in my messages. Oh, it responded on a prior channel. Okay, very good. Okay, so let me give you guys just a quick sense of how this thing works. Here you can see I'm at the primary or main menu. This is the first menu that you get whenever you uh, initiate a conversation with the BBS. And uh, we've got a couple of different things uh, you can do here. You can do some quick commands. You have to know what you're doing there. You can just uh, click B for BBS and that'll get you into a sub menu. I'm gonna go into U for utilities. And here I get a new menu that pops up. And uh, I'm just gonna look for a fortune or some wisdom for today. Genius is eternal patience. What the crap is that? All right, let's go for a new one. Can I roll again? Give me something better. The best antenna is the one you have in the air. Well, hard to argue with that. So, but there you go, guys. The bulletin board is set up and it's ready for use. Go get it.